Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna continue working on my 2018 GMC Sierra 3500. And I wanna start this video by answering the question. And the first main question a lot of you guys ask is why you're not using this frame and try to fix the rollover truck frame. First reason, number one, this truck is six foot bed and I need the truck with an eight foot bed. That's the first reason. Reason number two, this truck is 2017 and the rollover truck is 2018. One year newer and higher trim. And third of all, as all of you know, I'm building truck for myself and I need the eight foot bed to haul my fifth wheel trailer because I have a setup in my Dodge that I just want to transfer over and use a GMC. Hopefully this explains a lot and hopefully there's going to be no more misunderstanding why I'm trying to fix the rollover truck instead of swapping this frame. And let's go over this frame also. This frame is not that easy to fix as, my, uh, as many of you guys might think it is easy. It's not that simple. The engine needs to be come out, the bunch of stuff needs to come out, then it needs to be sandblasted, it needs to be proper day for that, you need the proper weather for that also. You can sandblast it on a uh, rainy day. Also, you can sandblast it in the cold weather, but I don't want to work in the cold weather. And there's so much things that involve uh, to fix this frame, but that's, that's why this is the Porsche truck. It'll be here. If I'll decide it, I'm gonna fix it. I will, and it will be like a SEMA build or something. But right now, this is the Porsche truck, and it was always Porsche truck, and I was never thought of fixing it. Maybe someday, yes, but not right now. And the first thing what I want to do this morning is, since in the last episode I wasn't able to go to dealer to pick up the parts that I came in and order some more uh, because it took me all day actually to get all the measurements from the truck to weld the bracket make sure everything is good and perfect and right and everything is right because you know everything's uh, the repair needs to be done properly so that's what I was doing and it took a lot of time and I wasn't able to go to dealer so today hopefully everything gonna go smooth we're gonna go pick up the parts and we're gonna start with the frame i want to paint the frame first uh, second i want to assemble everything on the frame that i took out in order to install the uh, cap and then we'll see probably gonna clean out the plastics off of the cap or maybe just gonna install the cap right away i don't know i haven't decided yet i can't make a plan right now because you know the stuff can happen and you have to jump over on the other uh, stuff Anyway, let's just continue fixing the Sierra and if you're new to the channel, subscribe because you don't want to miss awesome stuff on the channel. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy with the end of the result uh, on the GMC that I'm about to fix and customize. Now, let's uh, start the truck, warm it up and let's go pick up the parts. I am at the Auto Nation Parts Center. Let's go and see what they have for me. I got the most of the parts, not a lot of them. No, actually, not all of them, most of them. Most of the parts here and some of them in the truck now. Let's go home and finally start working on the truck. Come. 
Было, блин, что-то That's it. This is the parts that was inside. Rest of them there. Man, I'm too lazy. I wanna go lay down on a couch. I don't wanna do anything today. I'm tired. Let's see what we got to we here. Headlight filler. This is the headlight filler also. Bracket. Uh, lock. What is this? Oh, this is the that goes on top the uh, top of the battery. Uh, over here. Over here, hood grill and. Uh, Good hinges and also the fender brackets. Over here I have somewhere intercooler, radiator, uh, AC condenser, duck vent in the hood, hood, all over piece of the bumper. What else? Oh, and the hood cover. That's all I got for today. They don't have the uh, rest of my parts. They're still on the order. I don't know when they're gonna be here. But my main goal is today. I need to reassemble DPF thing. Install the exhaust back, reassemble the exhaust. Uh, this is the, off of the, this is the original one off of the truck. I'm using my bodies. Uh, I will pull the one from here, install on that uh, off of the parts truck. We'll install on the rollover, and this I will install back on the parts truck. And whatever sits on the spindle on the rollover truck, I'll get the back to my bodies. Lots of things needs to be done. Also, uh, I need to paint the frame, and I want to paint the inside the hood and also the inside fenders. So a lot of things needs to be done. Let's not waste the time and finish those things. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, so wait. Bella, Bella, wait, let's go. Move, yes. Wait, sit, 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 yes. sit. Good boy, Bella. Sit. Bella, sit. Good girl. Stay. Stay. Get it, boy. Get it, boy. Good boy. Go. Wait. Wait. No. No. Get it, Bella! <laughs> I need to undercoat all this uh, where the chains was you can see there's a chain hat made a little bit of uh, like a scratches so I'm gonna go ahead and recoat this both sides and color good for 
for painting a frame. I went ahead paint everything since it was left a little bit so I went ahead and paint this part over here also I only need it from here there and from here to here but I just went ahead and sprayed the whole thing because I had enough for this uh, over here you can see still uh, how the chains was holding so you can see those marks but now they're covered also i was beating with the uh sludge over here so i would uh, let let the uh, metal go and when i was pulling towards the driver's side i was beating around here too so that's why i did this section also because i was beating over here uh the metal went out and same thing i did it over here spray it there slightly and also over here the chains was uh, holding over here same thing over here and, uh, the, the only top and bottom and same thing over there over the weekends uh, my buddy ca uh, came over and helped me to put this uh, bed on on top of this frame it was uh, sitting over there as you remember and I had to flip it over and while we flipped it over I decided that I want to put it right away so that way I don't have to do dollies and I don't know what's going on but as you can see there's a, one dent over here another dent over here another dent over here over here I don't know what's going on this bed was in perfect condition but now either somehow I went unloading or I missed it because there's a couple gouges you can see there and there but nothing critical nothing that I can't fix while this paint uh, undercoating is drying I'm gonna go get the uh, exhaust and DPF uh, reservoir tank gonna brought it over here and I'm gonna start hanging while the sun's still lost Let's do that right quick before this gets too dark. You know what guys? It's still fresh. At least over here. Not the Oh, you can see it's still fresh. So I don't want to ruin it. Let's just wait until tomorrow. And I'll start assembling everything over here changing some other parts let's go into garage and find ourselves job uh, I need the paint under the hood and also I need to disassemble the HVAC system clean it and put it back together also I need to make a one dashboard off of two dashes so I have plenty of work inside the garage I was thinking to finally get it done with this frame but at this point it is what it is like I said I don't want to ruin it because you know you're doing a job you want to see it nicely after you finish so that's it let's go in the garage and let's do other stuff you know I've been thinking about the painting parts like under the hood and the fenders and then I'm like nah I don't want to do it I don't feel like it's so well what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna vacuum all this off of this cap. I'm gonna take the headliner out. I'm gonna get this uh, rubberized stuff from the back because I need to clean them out. And I'm, I don't know, probably gonna either start today cleaning. We'll see. Not 100% sure. My plan is to lay out all the wiring on the ground. I wanna lay the rubberized thing on the firewall i want to install the hvac system uh, i want to install the pedals 
and we're basically tacked everything over here and screw everything down from this side over here so basically it would be prepared to be installed on a cab i need to pressure wash those uh, carpets this carpet actually from two pieces which is nice and the seats i'm gonna be installing right on the truck because i don't want to add extra weight on this uh, cap since this cap sits on the uh, steps so i just doesn't want to add extra weight so it weighs a lot it's gonna weigh a lot anyway because i gonna try install the dashboard also i don't know how it's gonna go i need to disassemble one clean it wash it disassemble another one and assembled uh, the first one that i disassembled hopefully that makes sense um basically that's my plan let's just do some wiring stuff and disassembling stuff cleaning stuff lots of things to do so it doesn't matter where we start as long as it uh, lead me to the end result I took a headliner out, it was pretty simple, two um, uh, handles over there on that side, two handles on this side, uh, two sun visors and the middle, you pop uh, this middle section out, unplug everything, actually you don't even have to unplug everything, you just pop it, get those two screws out and then just pop it and this whole thing gonna come out and then you'll have this big connector and there's another connector you just unplug it and that's it that's pretty simple but to get the headliner out you also have to take this shift light out cab light out and also while I was here thinking this out I noticed this uh, antenna got burnt also so I'm gonna have to replace it Let's get this uh, rubberized. I don't know. It's a, this is rubber and from in here insulation. So this is probably noise prevention thing. I don't know what it is. Well, let's get it out. This thing stinks. Wash it and let's reinstall it. As you can see guys, I cleaned out, everything looks good, it's clean, also you guys had a question about the sim sealer inside, there it is, don't worry about it, I will not gonna forget about that kind of stuff, so now I'm gonna start laying the wires on the floor and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the firewall rubber thing back sound neatening or what is it i don't know
I'm completely done with the wiring and uh, this pad, sound dampening I guess pad on the firewall. Everything is connected. Everything is back on its place. All I have to do is tighten those bolts. But before I do that, I'm going to take the dashboard out and start disassembling. Actually, not the dashboard. I should do uh, HVAC first. So guys, so what we have over here, this unit, it's not disassemblable. So you can see there's some screws you can unscrew and you can even see it separates. But then there's the spots like this, they're welded. So if you're going to break them, somehow you're going to have to weld them back and they all over over here over here 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 so they they are all over. so basically this unit it's not you can't disassemble it to clean out and maybe use some parts from other one to install here so that that complete unit has to be changed that means i have to go to junkyard and buy a new one anyway that sucks that's extra money but oh well what can you do about it now i guess let's start disassembling dashboard clean it and then i'll bring the other one and disassemble that at least i can disassemble and assemble this one hopefully today okay let's move this away and get the dash out As you can see, the dash is apart, wiring, metal brace, uh, bottom, so it's a um, second dash under the dash. And there's the uh, outside dash, this is the inside dash, this is the vents. It's all apart, now I'm gonna have to go and get the dash off of the rollover truck, take the apart like so. Let's get the rollover dash apart. Second dash is completely apart. You can see the pieces all over the place. Now I'm gonna get this wiring and gonna install there. But what I also noticed, this wiring actually 
uh, same as that one because uh, this one I, ch I when I took this out I check it and there's missing two relays which is on the back sliding glass which that one have it but I, I checked the pins uh, over here I'm missing two pins over here so it's three in a row over there and the plug have three in a row so same exact wiring which is nice I don't have to do a lot of stuff but I don't know about those uh, computers modules if they're gonna be compatible or not otherwise I'm gonna have uh, issues trying to find what's going on but all of this I'm gonna be doing tomorrow uh, I'm gonna be wrapping up over here it's late already nine o'clock still have lots of things to do like editing and all other stuff so that's something i'm gonna be doing tomorrow so i need to assemble one dash and that dash needs to be clean so that will take a lot of time thank you guys for stopping by you give me a big thumbs up so youtube will spread out this video also leave your thoughts down below what do you think if you haven't subscribed subscribe I'm pretty sure this, uh, this kind of stuff is awesome and it is nice to see how everything goes apart and gets everything back together. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at salvagemastervy to see inside scoop there before YouTube. I usually post there every single day. Thank you guys for your support and I'll see you next one.